Hello, everyone. This is Royal Fan Lily. Hopefully, I don't have any more distractions. I've had nothing but distractions. This is like quite literally the 50th time recording. Anyways, welcome to today's video. Today, we'll be focusing on these two buttes. Um, the one we're going to be building today is Central Pacific Number 60, also known as the Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is part of uh, a group of... She was quite of a, part of a quadruple set built in Schenectady, New York. Built in the late... The early 1960s. On the other side of the um, country, she participated with another of her relatives... During the um, Golden Spike driving in Promontory Summit. Let's get into it. Now, this is a standard 440 type uh, American Standard class. And I keep forgetting to change these over to Birch. But anyways, these oak buttons are supposed to be Birch. Anyways, let's get into it. Um, you've got Acacia Wood Slab, Acacia Wood Stairs, Acacia Planks. Acacia trapdoor. Um, and then we also need red concrete. Dark oak fence gate, birch button, and we'll add. We'll add black stone brick stairs, polished black stone brick stairs. To start off, we'll work on the cow catcher known as the pilot. Put a slab right in the middle of the tracks, plus two diagonal, plus skip a block and a diagonal. Block on either side. Slab. Red concrete in the back of all of this. Stairs. Slab. Three slab. Five slabs, actually. And one in the middle. Plus acacia trapdoor. Put a dark oak fence gate. And then put birch buttons on the side of the red concretes for the wheel. Um, decorations. If I'm breathing heavily, that's because I'm laying on a pillow, to be honest. I don't want to sit in the chair tonight. But anyways, then you have black stone brick stairs back to back. Dark oak fence gate. Two more red uh, red concrete um, with birch buttons. And then you need polished black stone brick slabs. Next, um, let me look at my map here, my entire locomotive. Um, you're going to want black concrete, nether brick st slabs, nether brick, or uh, dark oak fence gates, gold block, item frame, Um, gray concrete, and I just got rid of my item frame. Uh, then you're also going to want oak slab and polished blackstone button. Let's get into it. So behind here, place two blocks of gold plus an oak slab on top. Blackstone button on the sides of the, just below the uh, upper part of the piston, and then um, black concrete between those areas, and then another brick slab on the front and back of that. Dark oak fence gates. This will be the start of the pump valve, 
that actually right here pumps water into the boiler, which actually is right here. Why is that angled? I don't know why that's angled there. This is not supposed to be angled like that. But anyways, what happens is it pumps water into the boiler to do it automatically when the train is moving. Anyways, then you're going to want black concrete right here, block of gold, black concrete surrounding that block of gold now. Underneath and on top of the side black concretes, we place another brick um, slabs. Um, item frame, gray concrete, dark oak fence gate. Make all of this, except for the gold block and stuff, all reach out th to a length of three blocks. That should be your entire smoke box completely done already. So if you've gotten this far, you're doing pretty good. Um... Dark oak fence gates for the uh, pilot supports. Um, let's see here. What should we do next? Let's do the light. Um, acacia fence gate. Red concrete. Then um, oak trap door. White stained glass pane, glow item frame, um, flower pot, and then polished black stone brick stairs and bricks. All right, first you're gonna do this with your fence gates, then your block of red concrete, oak uh, trap doors in the middle uh, on the sides to make that gold leaf pattern on the sides. Glow item frame, white stained glass pane, flower pot. Then you're going to want to make this kind of T hammer type shape out of black stone bricks do exactly that pump out like knock out the top two the top two of the middle um blocks then surround it with stairs grab yourself some polished black stone brick slabs and that'll complete your funnel too except you need a uh, black glass pane too just to round it off on top. <sighs> All right, next comes the fun part. We get to work backwards now. We need to get birch fence gates, conduits, just to make that little round knob on the side of the boiler. Um, oak. <laughs> Um, it's oak fence gate, oak fence. Oh my god, more interruptions. I'm not going to stop recording at this point. Chains. You're going to need chains. Um, blackstone brick wall. Dark oak, uh, fence gate. And then, last but not least, certainly, Acacia Wood Stairs. Oh my god, I can't. This isn't going to be the greatest video in the world, but I wish it was. Two chains. on the back of these dark oak fence gates and then 
oak fence. Place! Thank you. Can't place for nothing today. Then on this, you want to make your uh, round wheels out of acacia. Just do the same pattern like I just did. Out of acacia fence or uh, stairs. And that should be all your wheels in place. Now, next, and I think it's only on this side, actually. Did I not add the... Mm, I, I added it in my other model here. I did the Westinghouse air brake. Um, which was, I think, that, but I'll have to make sure I check my 119 model. Yeah, it's not there either. All right, so we're, we're going to do a whole new design. First, place dark oak fence gates, and then the blackstone wall. Next, you're going to want behind the gold block, birch fence gate, oak fence gate. Birch fence gate, oak fence gate, same thing. Conduit, which you're going to have to cross, crouch to place this. This should be the little knob. Now it's Technically supposed to be connected into the boiler, but I couldn't do that. Dark oak fence gate. Polished blackstone wall. And we've expended our materials again. Now what you want to do is grab yourself blackstone bricks. Well, brick stairs. Blackstone brick slabs. Polished blackstone stairs, oak wood stairs, polished blackstone, and then you want oak slabs, oak buttons, and oak trap doors. Oh wait, instead of oak trapdoors, grab yourself black concrete. So first, place oak stairs, polished blackstone stairs, oak stairs, polished blackstone stairs, two oak stairs. And a polished blackstone brick stairs. Um, then actually right here, you need a layer of five polished blackstone brick slabs. And then polished blackstone brick stairs, doing that. Black concrete, three blocks long, and then another uh, polished blackstone brick stairs. Polish blackstone all the way across, and then repeat what you did on the one side onto the other. Now we're gonna go around the t long longevity of the boiler with blackstone, and I think actually the last one is black concrete. Black concrete's like that in this shape. Next, you want polished blackstone bricks, 
brick stairs. And sorry about that. That's one of, that's our sponsor for today. Uh, that is Historic Travels. Thank you for being such a good support of the channel. Anyways, Oakwood Stairs. Um, polished black stone stairs. Oak slabs every other block. And fill in the gap with... Did I not get myself black stone stair? Polished black stone stair uh, slabs? No, I didn't. Okay. Polished black stone slabs. Then polished black stone all the way back. That is your completed boiler already. <sighs> Grab yourself polished blackstone brick stairs. Uh, or slabs, I mean. So slab, a stair, and that should stop right there. Black concrete. Two blocks long. Uh, block stone brick slabs. Two blocks long. And now grab your um, oak trapdoor and run it right the way along. Right along to the trapdoor or the fence gate. Right the way along to the fence gate. All right, that should run our materials down again. And this is a very, very simple locomotive. So you can get this done in less than two minutes, in less than 20 minutes to a half an hour tops, if you know what you're doing. Um, on top of these, place blackstone brick slabs, and that'll run our materials. Next, you want red concrete, acacia signs, um, then you're going to want polished black stone wall, brick wall, um, oak fence, oak fence gate, acacia buttons, chains, And last but not least, you want a polished deep slate wall. Put that deep slate wall in there for the firebox door. Chain there, oak fence, two oak, uh, acacia buttons, an oak fence gate, oak fence right there. And then red concrete on the sides, three blocks long, two acacia signs. on the back um and yeah that should pretty much exhaust our materials now already except one we do need a chain right where that wall is so put a chain right in front of that, that pipe. That's what that oak fence is. It's a brass pipe. Um, anyways, that should exhaust our materials. Next, you're gonna want to grab yourself oak buttons, which I forgot to place last time. Then, Acacia trapdoors, dark oak trapdoors, iron trapdoors. Um, you're also going to want acacia fence, bell, lever. <laughs> now I'm thinking, all I can think of now is pull the lever, crunk. Wrong lever. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Um, and red concrete again. Or wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
No, black carpet. I forgot there's nothing there yet. Acacia fence. Three acacia trap doors. Flip them up like that. Like so. Then a two by two. Like that. Now, that's the difference between Jupiter and 119. Jupiter has straight box windows. So, you'll see them like this, rather than 119's curved tops. I'm rambling again. Anyways, dark oak uh, trap doors in the back. And the reason why we grabbed our iron trap doors is to do the coupling rods. We'll get back to the cabin in just a second. So, three iron trap doors there. Iron trapdoor there, and then you're gonna to want to go to the front of the first wheel. Well, the second wheel, and do the same on the other side. Three, then I think it was six. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, five. Nope, it was five. All right, now, oak buttons before I forget to place them again. Below all the oak. And that should be it for most of our materials, except um, we still need to finish this roof. So, next... You're going to want to place a 3x4 of dark oak trapdoors. And then black carpet on the rest. This is to make that narrow point on the roof because you can't really do that in Minecraft. <sighs> Bell right here. lever and that exhausts our materials for now uh keep your oak buttons grab yourself red concrete then acacia buttons gold block and oak fence gold block in front of the cab oak fence Red concrete, acacia button, oak button on both sides, and I forgot chain. So chain in front of the cab, two blocks. Can't place anything right. And then skip a block because you have to with that button. And then just continue it all the way to the headlight. Do that on both sides. This train is pretty symmetrical. And a lot of the materials I forgot to use when I forgot to do the buttons. I also forgot to do part of the Westinghouse air brake. Which is right here this little polished black stone wall, which is evident on this one. <laughs> Next, by the looks of it, we have just a, the tender to complete. Um, grab yourself dark oak trap doors, red concrete, hoppers, chains, Oh, I already have chains. Dark oak fence gates. What is with the distractions? Anyways. You want polished black stone brick slab. And then... You're gonna want... 
Um, uh, we'll go Acacia Fensgate and uh, Netherbrick Stairs. So first, oh wait, no, before we get Netherbrick Stairs, we need Dark Oak Trap, uh, Dark Oak uh, Slab. All right, so Slab, Fensgate, then Sideways Fence Gate, Skip a Block, Sideways Fence Gate, Straight, Skip a Block, Straight, Sideways Fence Gate, Skip a Block, Sideways Fence Gate, and then two straight. That should complete the base layout already. And in the spaces in between, place block stone uh, slabs. Make the make the two outer ones three blocks. Then red concrete on the sides. That'll be your uh, tender trucks. On the edges, place um, dark oak fences. Uh, fence gates and then fence gates going into this chains on the end of the wheel in the middle Then hoppers on the ends And that should oh god the camera shake the camera shake then Fences gates on the ends That should complete this middle section already this lower section. Don't forget to have a dark oak wood slab right here. And let me know if you want coaches down below. Is if I and also let me know because we do have 119 over here. So if you guys want 119, by all means tell me in the comments below and I will do that. Anyways, dark oak trapdoor on the end of the cab. This will make the entire back of the cab. And then the locomotive is complete. That's the end of the locomotive now. Now we're strictly doing the tender unless we've missed anything, which I don't think we have. Let's just take a look here. Let's just take a look-see. We have not missed anything. All right. So strictly on the tender... We need to get ourselves gray concrete. Oh, I needed that uh, acacia fence gate. So the gray concrete will be three blocks wide on top of the wheels. Then two dark oak trap doors, a dark oak trap door here, and a dark oak trap door over uh, here. And then on top of that dark oak trap door is a fence gate going inward towards the tender. And there we go. Both of them. Gray concrete will now go all the way until it's one block away from the coupling in the back. Like that. Anyways. Hmm, what's next? All right, you need to save your uh, red concrete, but get yourself red nether brick materials, all of them. Oh, well, maybe not all of them. You don't need the slab. Slab you can keep out of your inventory completely. Um, you're gonna still need chains. You're gonna still need polished deep slate wall nether brick fence um lightning rod and oak trapdoor all right so We'll start around the base of the tender to start, just to get it out of the way. So just all around the base of the tender.
just keep placing red nether brick stairs. And don't forget, you're going to need black concrete too. So get you rid of your chains temporarily. Get back your chains once you place that black concrete in between that little space I left. All right, so at the start here, you're gonna want a deep slate wall, chain on the side, nether brick fence, upside down nether brick, or uh, and lightning rod, and then an oak trapdoor to make the brake wheel. And then over here, you're gonna want a wither skeleton skull. That'll complete the entire front section right over there. My hand is starting to fall asleep. <laughs> That's not good. Red concrete, three blocks, skip a block. Red concrete, skip a block, four block. red concrete. And just wrap it around by one, skip a block, wrap it around again. And basically we're just setting ourselves up for the Jupiter logo. All right, now what you're gonna want is save your first three items, get rid of your chain and replace it with a gold block, and then gray concrete, polished deep slate slab. Uh, don't think you'll need your wall, but you'll need polished deep slate stairs and red carpet. So all around the base of this, I think right to here actually. Nope, I'm one off. So two blocks from the end wall, just do this design, just to leave that shelf for the wood. And then diagonally up, place on both sides, a one by two of slabs. Gray concrete, polished deep slate stairs. Then gold block and all these little spaces in between that we left, and that'll complete our gold block set. You will not need those anymore. But grab yourself some oak wood stairs, um, oak buttons, acacia buttons, and do not forget to grab yourself some spruce slabs. All right, now we'll start on this side. Three blocks of um, red nether brick stairs, red nether brick stair, uh, oak stairs, my bad. Four, uh, three, then five. And then three, then three oak, then three again. One red carpet on either side, spruce slabs, then red carpet all around it. Now, this is the last step before we start adding in the most complicated thing. The wood. All right, so the buttons... Uh, um, just place them around the corners and right next to the gold blocks everywhere there is one. Except the back. Don't do that on the back because then it's too close together then. So just like I'm doing. And then acacia buttons on all the gold blocks. That'll make our complete tender. Let's complete with the wood. Now the wood design is fairly simple. It's a common design and Crafty Fox, if you're watching this video, I want to also sponsor you. Thank you for this wood design because this really helped. Um, oak wood planks, oak logs. You're also gonna want oak and birch wood slabs and oak and birch wood stairs 
And if you can get both of those, those would be great. Um, you're also going to want oak pressure plate and uh, birch trapdoor for now. We'll get on to more of the more common stuff. So oak log and then wood everywhere else. Then wood going in um, a 3x4 from the back. And then add one here. Oak wood stairs, birch wood stairs, oak wood stairs again. Reverse the effects here like that with the slabs. Oh wait, this isn't a uh, oak, this is that, an oak log. Then oak pressure plate. And then a pressure plate in this corner, right here. And then you're gonna want oak slabs like this in this formation. Birch slab, birch slab. And then birch stairs. Oak wood log right there. Birch trap door. And then grab yourself spruce and dark, uh, spruce and oak trapdoors. Last two items, I think. Uh, just like that. And once you get that done, you can go ahead and clear your items. And it looks like there's something missing, but I'm not sure. But it looks like everything is in order. This train looks beautiful the way it is. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.